Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for the interest and in taking the time to view the channel. We're on the surface of the moon. In yesterday's footage, I had not mentioned this in as many other areas. Watch the arrow as it pans up to a pipe tunnel structure. There it is. We'll see it in slow motion because we just saw it fast. It longs up towards the right. And the arrow will bring the arrow up slower towards the tunnel-like object. We're talking at least 18 to 20 miles long. We're also talking about um, a constructed object because it's absolutely impossible that ejecta could run for 20, 30 miles like that in a straight line over and under um, areas. There it is, just off to the right there. And goes upwards towards uh, the edge of the crate. You can see it in the bottom right here. It's all there. Proof is there. Those, you can see it clearly with your eyes that it's something that was constructed. There's no denying it. The proof is right there. Look at the wall. How can you deny it? Flat crater, rounded crater. Look at that. The flat symmetrical base, couple miles wide. This massive wall here, right smack dab there on the bloody center um, of the surface of the moon. And to the left, top left of this corner of the photo, those white with black symmetrical lines, they're bases, guys. They're, you can't see them because it's white and they have the same color as the surface and the same reflectivity as the surface. If you are the least bit familiar with Mercer and Atatis, you know inside of it, this cannot be seen. We can hardly see Bessel Crater. And now we're looking at a massive white towering structure. And when I say white, again, it could be that the wavelength we're not seeing it. 674 kilometers or 419 miles in diameter. That's Mare Serenitatis at the top, the brown patch or khaki patch if you want at the top of this photo. The Apennine Mountains, Montes Apenninus, um, view from the bottom to Mare Serenitatis. So get an ideal 419 miles when you're looking at the photos, Mare Serenitatis, give you an idea of the, um, the craterlets and the craters around them. They're not craters. At 100 kilometers an hour, traveling from left to right in Mare Serenitatis, it would take us four to five hours to reach the end, from one end to another, if we were on a highway. Look at all the color on the surface. It is natural color. The moon is very colorful. Why would that not be the first thing that was ever mentioned about the moon upon a human's first arrival? We hear about purple rocks. Well, he gave that one away. Archimedes Crater, right here, 83 kilometers. So if we're talking about 83 kilometers, that's pretty wide. Could you imagine the area? Do you have a place in your head that's 83 kilometers for you to drive to? It'd take you a couple hours. You know, thinking of the distance. Now, here's a good one for you guys. This is Bessel Crater. And look at the long supposed path of ejecta it's on. From left to right, we're talking 649 kilometers, 419 miles. Do you actually think that ejecta would run up and over surfaces in a straight path from this little craterlet? Bessel Crater, right here, 16 kilometers in diameter. Um, it has a high albedo, meaning it is elevated, like Plato Crater, like many, many other craters. Eratosthenes Crater, bottom right, real color, purples, highlights. Now look at these two craters and this line that leads to this crater. This crater over here on the bottom is on Wikipedia, but not the line. And uh, we cannot see these two craters. Either they're not close enough or they're brushed off. There's even greenery inside of a Radisthenes crater. And while we are here, look at the top left of a Radisthenes crater. This is the blue dome-like objects that I'm telling you about. It looks like glass. They're very reflective, and this prominent 
predominantly blue color. Again, 59 kilometers in diameter, Eratosthenes Crater. Montes Apenninus, you could see, look at the objects, whatever they may be, colorful, undercover-like objects, which are obviously the mountain. Seeing it at this angle, and look at the colors. It always amazes me that it's purple. We see purple. This is Copernicus. Look at the bottom of Copernicus, the colored blue glass-like object, just like in Eratosthenes Crater, the four objects we've seen before. Those objects are always there, always seen in Copernicus. So instead of zooming up with um, a P900, I did a test. I was completely uh, zoomed. Uh, that's not true. I was at 200 millimeters and I zoom, I'm zoom. i zooming up with a program instead to see the surface. And now, this is direct live footage and I'll show you the direct... Uh, footage after not zoomed out right after this look at the color okay p900 is very hard to get color out but here with my luck during the winter and this is winter footage with the p900 just during right after christmas this would be january and we can see what's cold <laughs> look at this flat uh, rectangular object on top of those objects that are lit up that's a flat symmetrical structure. It looks like a base-like area. Here's the footage from the P900 that we just zoomed into with the program. So I left it at this uh, zoom magnification and zoomed it up with the program.
it sounds like a Friday to me, and it is a Friday to me, and it is a Friday. So enjoy the Friday, everyone. I'll be getting some nice videos up this weekend. Thanks a lot.